Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I'm excited because it's mimosas and makeup. I do have a glass of Sauvignon Blanc here, or a little bit of a glass. <laughs> and guess what, when you're watching this, it's also my birthday. Today I'm turning 43. It's also Super Bowl Sunday. It's a great slime, a fun slime. And I'm actually gonna be hanging out with my sister all day at night for my birthday, which is something that is very unprecedented for us in our adult lives. I am really excited. So anyway, I hope you are doing well. Today, y'all, did Jay? I don't understand how January has so much stuff, but we are gonna be doing a roundup today. Oh gosh, messed that up, there we go. Uh, if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. You know I'd love to have you back. Did I say January, right? January. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I am feeling right now, this is Saturday night, I'm feeling blessed. You know, I, you just can't take life for granted and I'm feeling blessed to be here another year. I, I'm blessed, I can't ask for anything else. I mean, you can, but I also feel like I have been given an awareness about my life especially in areas where I feel like I want things to change. You know, no longer do I want to just, you know, go with the wind and that's a great trait, but sometimes there are things that you can take control over and I'm feeling that I'm feeling it and it's causing, you know, a little bit of a, uh, uncomfortability. Is that a word? You know, just feeling uncomfortable. I might've made that word up. I don't think I did but it is causing that and that feeling of uh, feeling unsettled, but I think the outcome is gonna be great for me and I'm claiming that. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and, I, and if you're not, I hope that this video does provide you with some escape until things turn around because they always will. Um, you know, it's not always on our timeline, but they will. The, this roundup, so usually I try to go through all the things that I deem boring and then do the eyeshadow palettes last, but I want to do, do you have, um, if you don't, then when are you going to take one? Mom. All right, cool. Mama. All right, cool. This time, I don't know if I can do it, but I want to do it by brand. I just came up with that idea, like right before I started recording. I think that'll give me like, an idea to see like, did I choose the right priority brands? What did I try that was new? Cause you know, I include old things too. And what did I reach for that was not new? You know, and some of the stuff you're gonna see, I haven't even filmed with. So let's just, let's go by brand today. So the products are gonna be all mixed up, but I guess my plan would be to put timestamps of the brands. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it. We're gonna start with what I can reach, which is, mm -hmm. hey, Marky, what's up? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Mm -hmm. It's a little early for dessert and you're gonna want something else. Do you think you wanna wait until eight o'clock? Oh. And maybe you could get some grapes? Are these like dipping dots? They are like, they are like dipping dots. Yeah. Mm -mm, put them back, he's gonna have them at eight. He, go ahead and look at them. Let's start with the Dreamer palette or box from Unearthly Cosmetics. So this was their holiday collection from 2023, but it was not able to ship out until January. I did purchase this box myself. I did get 30% off because I'm an affiliate. Uh, I did have the opportunity to be sent the palette for free, but I really wanted the whole thing, especially because there were some new products, which was the, um, or which were the bullet lipsticks, 
I'm not gonna like swatch everything and show everything. I do have a video on it, but I just would like to say I really enjoyed these collections that Unearthly has been putting out. I did three looks with this palette. I really loved all three, especially like the cool tone look. I really loved the look that I did with that. There's a highlighter palette. And what I loved about the highlighter palette was that the shadows in here were super smooth, very, very smooth. More of what I see in mainstream luxury brands, they're smooth like that. Whereas some of their previous highlighters, they have some little chunky chunks to them, you know, little chunky girls. And you know, I could be in the mood for that sometimes, but recently, no. All the lipsticks for the most part are shades that I would wear. There's one that was like a little bit deep, but it, it wasn't like crazy, you know? But the formula was great. The quality was really nice. Virtually no scent. I was just really happy with this collection and I am just looking forward to seeing what Amanda's gonna do this year. I did miss out on the Charmer box. So the boxes don't go out for PR. And I think that if I could have gotten it the first round, I would have gotten it. The second pre-order isn't going out until April and I don't know if the moment is gonna have passed for me. I do love the Unearthly brushes. They are so beautiful and there's some purple ones in the box. There's a liquid uh, blush, just a lip oil. I can't remember what else. And there's the palette. I wasn't really fond of the color story for the palette. I know that's a palette that I would have done, you know, a video with, but probably really wouldn't be thinking about to go back to. But the Dreamer palette is a little bit different. And you know what? Every collection doesn't have to be for me. That's totally fine. But I, you know, stay where I am as far as having Unearthly as a priority brand. I'm always looking out for them. And I know she's going to be coming out with some different products this year. And I'm very excited to see what those are going to be. Now, I believe that's everything from Unearthly. Okay, let's do a brand. I know I only have one of these. I only know I have one Auric product. Haven't heard and don't hear too much from Auric, but this is the Glow Lust. And you know, I do really try to rotate my products. This is almost like that flawless filter. You can use it by itself. You can use it under foundation. I personally think it's a little heavy to use under foundation. Uh, a little goes a long way. I mean, I would mix it with foundation, but I would not put a whole layer of this on and then a foundation that would be a no but if you have a matte foundation that you may want to add a little bit of dew to or something like that I think this is great or if you want to just have a little tint on your skin I think it's great you just don't need too much and for it to be like a filter or a, a skin tint because it's not a foundation it definitely does provide some coverage but it's super super dewy I have this in two shades I have sunstone and I have pyrite sunstone is probably a little more my skin tone, but I like to mix it with pyrite. I think that makes it perfect. I think she's being sold on Beautylish now. So let me know if you still like the Auric Glow Lust. I remember it being a big deal when the brand first launched, but you know, they don't do a whole lot of launches. So let me know your thoughts. Ooh, I don't know what brand to go to next. We have one product from Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Twist and Light loose powder and remember this was like a real gimmicky thing because you open it up and there are these three uh, components here and you have to do this twist and then it shoots the powder out and then you put it on and so i think each powder does something different i don't think this is a bad powder but what i don't like about it is that there are glitters in here for sure there are glitters you are not going to be able to see the glitters so it's unfortunate now when I put this on my face, do I see a whole bunch of glitter on my face? No, I just don't like the idea of those glitters. I will use this. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. I don't think that's a goal for me. I don't think I like the idea of the glitters. It's not a thing. It's a no. So I might, I might not keep this. It's just, I don't know why I have other powder that I like. I mean, I think I just got intrigued by the, the gimmicky tactic of the powder shooting out. And I really did enjoy that, like looking at the powder come out, but that's not why I bought it. So no, NRN. Well, I don't, I don't even know why I say NRN. Okay. So that's it for makeup forever. I know they just launched a brand new foundation. So let me know if you're interested in that. I did pass because I am 
stuck on the Prada foundation, which I'm going to talk about in the next roundup because I'm finally going to get this video done. The only thing that I've used from Prada beauty is the foundation. I'm wearing it now. And I'm, I'm, when I say, when people say obsessed, no, I'm really obsessed with it. I just try not to talk about it too much because people are going to be like, well, when are you going to do the video? And I'm like, I'm trying. It's just, I got the foundation, three lipsticks and two eyeshadow palettes. And I was trying to decide what, you know, what weigh in. Do you want to see each product separately from Prada? Like, do you want to see the eyeshadow palettes together, the lipsticks together, and then a separate video? I should have asked y'all this from the jump. Separate video for the foundation. Let me know. Let me know how you want me to do this. Because, you know, I got all the research, the product information, all that is waiting. I got it all in my book. So let me know how you, how I should do that video. Three videos or one video? Yes, let me know. Next brand. Fenty Beauty. I've got two products I've been really using. I used the Dew Drops. I'm not sure why I even brought these out. And this is definitely less than half full. I do like the Dew Drops. Um, I don't know if they're like a standout product, but I, I do really like them. And they're great for the summer. They're great for the winter for me, to be honest with you. This is a uh, number 13. And sometimes all I want is a skin tint. And sometimes I think the reason that this doesn't get used is because either I'll do foundation or I'll do just concealer with no skin tint. So the concealer days are where I would use the skin tint, but oftentimes I don't even use that. So that's why I feel like this is taking a long time to get used up because for that, there's no in between. I'm either like concealer and nothing else or just everything. So that's, that's the issue with this. Okay. But it's a great product. It is really great. I also have the Fenty Beauty uh, We're Even. It's like a skincare infused concealer. So with me a concealer, I either absolutely love it or like it's cool. I think I've tried like a bad concealer. I think it's more of when I find the tone that I love. That's when it brings it somewhere else. So right now for me, you cannot top Natasha Denona because I have the rosy concealer RP six and that's what I wear every day. I cannot stop wearing it. And that like that took over Dior, which Dior was my concealer. The thing with my Dior concealer is I think I could have gotten a half a shade lighter because four in is what I would wear in their foundation. And I have that in my concealer. However, that makes that concealer really perfect for those days where I don't, want any uh foundation on it blends in great but i haven't picked up that concealer since so i think fenty is going to have trouble finding a place in my collection because of that is it a good concealer yes i think it's a good shade for me but it's not going to be no it is a good shade what am i talking about this was a good shade 300 that's what i have i'm I don't know what I was talking about just now. I would like to really test this out in the summertime because I believe this is like sweat proof, waterproof. So I might be needing more of that because I plan to have me a nice summer and being outside. So I'm claiming that now, claiming a vacation, claiming it all. I have my BYOP palette. So this is a bunch of, bunch of brands here. And we've got some Natasha singles, some Cleonas. I think, is that it? Terra Moons. So we have a little conglomerate of, of indie. We have an adept shade here. Uh, I, the look I did with this palette, I really liked it a lot, actually. This was my palette that was inspired by the Pantone color of the year, Peach Fuzz. And it was like this purple peach look. It was so good. So that video's, you know, been up. We gonna be at the end of February soon. Just wanted to mention that in my roundup. And I still love my indie brands. It's just I'm I'm not really reaching for them as much and I'm not purchasing any singles. So a lot of times the indie brands that I love, they specialize in singles. So unless they come out with a palette, I'm probably not going to be talking about them too much because I don't need any more singles. I just have a lot and a lot of the shifty ones are starting to run together. And therefore, I just need to chill out and use the ones I have because they're really good and they're expensive, but they're awesome. So, you know, you put too many shimmers on, especially those. You can't tell the difference. You can't see all the shifts on the eyes. So you really don't need a lot because one 
is almost like two to three shades depending on if it's a dual chrome or multi chrome so I love that palette though that was a really good one. Oh, there's my Pat McGrath primer that I've been looking for okay well, I guess we should do Pat McGrath then it's not much because let me get it Pat McGrath the eyeshadow primer is great I I know this is a common uh, component for primer I just feel like either there wasn't a whole lot of product in here or I used it up super fast but I really like it or maybe it's hard because it's hard to see it really blends in like you cannot see it so you just don't know it it dries very transparent my eye looks have been lasting this might have been Pat's best release from 2023 yes to that also have desert orchid here one of my favorite kind of nude blushes that give you almost this um it can give you almost like a sunburned kind of look you know it's really warm i really love this blush it's one of my favorites that's all i tried from mama pat in the month of january next up is huda beauty three products from huda beauty really surprised by that We've got the color correctors in Cherry Blossom and Lychee. I'm wearing Cherry Blossom right now. I don't care if the, the pinky under eye trend is over. I really, really like it. And I do have a video demoing one eye with Cherry Blossom and one eye with Lychee. And I can mix the two shades. It's really, really beautiful. And I, I just love that she came out with these shades. Uh, to her color correctors they were on my list to try and then i also did get a mini peach pie setting powder i've always wanted to try her setting powder the pink one but i have another pink powder so i don't need one this is like a great on the go powder i know i'm late to the game it is scented but it really doesn't bother me and i'm wearing the peach powder now as well i think my under eye looks really good you know and in person and here on camera and I'm just, I'm really happy with the Huda Beauty purchases. I really didn't foresee myself purchasing anything from Huda Beauty until the eyeshadow palette came out, which is always in like November, December. So that was kind of a surprise for me. I also have a product from Givenchy and actually there were two, but I might've talked about the other one already and I don't know where it is. I have one of the marble lip glosses in black pink and I really love that. But I also purchased one of these loose blushes in Organza Cien. This is number four. I really like this. Uh, you know, a loose blush isn't the easiest to kind of take with you on the go, but it's cute. It's got this little puff and I really like this. Uh, there's like a purpley plum shade that looks really good too. All of them look really nice. So new to Givenchy and i was happy to try it wait till y'all see this one y'all never film with this olivia palermo and i have the lipstick too she had like 30 percent off one time and i was like i really want to try it i believe her brand is gone like her website is shut down there may be some places where you can buy the palettes but the quality is excellent really really great eyeshadow quality and you know, I am into the East. I mean, these are creamy, creamy shimmers. The mattes are great as well. Pigmented. Okay. The shimmers are super, super creamy. This is the Regalia palette. And I think, I can't remember how much they were, but I know I got this on sale. And I always wanted to try her brand. She always just was so bougie you know on the hills that's what <laughs> don't the packaging it is weighty like you could hurt somebody with this like if you really needed to hurt somebody you really could and then i also have the lipstick and i didn't film with this but let me know if you want me to this is called shanti chianti i don't know look at this y'all she had a nice brand. I don't know what she's doing with herself now. I'm sure she's doing just fine. But something just made me want to check. And that's what I found out. So this is a nice, a nice palette. And you don't need to use all six shades. But very, very good job. So, I mean, really luxury quality, uh, in my opinion. I've got Nomad Cosmetics. 
the New Zealand stargazing palette. I did three looks with this palette, did a lot of research. I want to go to New Zealand. Another great job by Nomad Cosmetics with their mattes. Always a great formula, but the shimmers are very smooth and very beautiful. You know, the shimmers for Nomad can be hit or miss for me, and it's been about half and half, but they have really stepped it up last year, and their shimmer quality is really stepping it up. So I'm, I'm happy to own this palette, and I think they continue to top themselves. Very, very beautiful. From Glam Light, this is the first palette I tried in 2024. This is the Friday the 13th Halloween palette. And I definitely think it is a palette that can be used outside of Halloween. However, this right now is not the vibe for me. So I did do some looks I really enjoyed, but right now I'm not really feeling this palette. I'll be honest, the quality is great, but you know, when fall time comes around, I might be feeling it again when Halloween comes around, but right now it's not really what I need it to be. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you seasonal with makeup or you just go with how you feel? I mean, I think I am going with how I feel, but it's also seasonal. Like it's definitely a cold weather palette in my opinion, but more fall, not February, you know? So great quality, great palette. And because of the great quality, you know, I just kind of went overboard with Glam Light during Black Friday. And I've said it before and I don't know why I don't listen to myself. The theme to makeup sometimes, I just have times where I'm just over it and probably more times than not. So I gotta, I gotta do something about that and really keep that in mind. Okay, I think the rest of the brands, I have multiple things from, so I gotta get up. We're almost to the multiple brands. Last one, Adept La Cienega. I got this store on Black Friday and actually just did a quick look with this for work, only using the mattes and it was great. I just took like a, transitional matte, one of these, one of these deep ones and called it a day. The mattes in here are great. I have not filmed with this palette yet. Again, it's pretty new, but uh, I, I eventually will probably do something with it. I'm glad to have these new shades and uh, neutral shades from Adept because they will be great if I decide to mix and match, you know, some of the shades in the palette. I usually don't, but it'll be an option if I want to do something like that or if I want to combine palettes. I'll have some of these like classic like brown shades that I like to wear. Excited to use that one. Let's do the Sephora lip kit and then we'll get into I would say the heavy hitters for the January roundup. Okay, I like this style. I like this style by brand. And then we see what the heavy hitters are in my uh, makeup life. Yes, okay, an idea. Great. It's crazy. I forgot another Fenty product, actually two. And that's wild because in one month, four Fenty products, I, I don't know. This is the Flash Nap. So that's like the... Uh, instant renewal eye gel cream. So if I'm feeling tired or I wake up late or something like that, I use that. Uh, more to come on that. I don't, I don't know. Cause a lot of times I'm wearing makeup. So that also helps the situation. I also have the, what is it called? Butter drop, the cinnamon one. Y'all, it smells like, um, the Cinnabon place. Oh my gosh. I don't eat that stuff, but I definitely like the smell. So yes to that. The Sephora Perfect Pout Lip Kit. I don't know if I have everything. There was this uh, Tarte Lip Plump. There was a Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is Pillow Talk Medium, yes. There was also a Rare Beauty Lipstick. I just literally brought this stuff over and don't see it. Rare Beauty. Uh, there was a Clarence Lip Oil, which is probably in my purse. And there was a Glossier. Um, Lip balm. I really like the Glossier one. That was really, really nice. Clarence lip oil was really nice. I'm trying to think. The Maracuja lip plump. I wasn't a fan. I used a lot of it up and it has a tingle to it. So I really wasn't into that. The Rare Beauty was cool. I just think the shade was too light and it gave me that line. And then the Charlotte Tilbury was great. So I had a great time using those. Yeah, it was just five, five. And three of the products were full size. So that was great. All right, let's, why don't we talk about Char? Let's talk about Char. Charlotte Tilbury released some lipsticks, Icon lipsticks. I was really, 
intrigued by the pink shades. Now, I don't have a whole lot of Charlotte Tilbury, but as I am going through my collection doing stuff, I have way more than I thought. So let me stop. I, I have a good amount of Charlotte Tilbury. I'm lying to y'all and myself. So this month I tried the lip cheats for the first time, which I enjoyed. I have Mark of a Kiss in 90s pink. These were great. And I have the matching lipsticks from the Icon lipsticks. And I'm going to tell you the winner is this 90s pink, y'all. This shade is... It's out of control for me. And I think what I enjoy most about it is I think this is going to look good on so many people with the matching lipstick or you could do a deeper lipstick, you know, or not a deeper lipstick, but a deeper liner. Mark of a Kiss is a muted red. And I did demo both of these really, really nice red. You know, if I had to pick a red, it would be something more muted like this or velvet cinnabar, which I had that sitting out too. I'm like, well, when did I wear her? But I think I wore her for the, I don't know what I wore her for. Oh my God, my baby. Well, we can just put her in there though. But yeah, that's like been my favorite red. So, mm, so good. Char is doing it in my collection because you know what else I brought out? The, and I don't know where it is. The Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. Might talk about it in February because that video took me so long to film. It went from January into February. But this is the Ecstasy Swish and Pop Blusher. I mean, I know you can't really see that. But it was a nice blush. You can see it right there. I mean, I, that's a, a lighter tone blush. But a really good blush. Let me tell you what else I pulled out from my girl Char. Hold on. We've got the airbrush bronzer in this big clam shell. Got some pan in there. I've had this a while. A nice bronzer, refillable. Don't really have, I've only tried one bronzer that I didn't like and that was by Milk. It was like this liquidy bronzer. It was terrible. I did not enjoy. But yeah, Char is doing it with the bronzer. I think that's all I have from, from my girl Char. So we're going to move on to my other girl, Tosh. I was about to say Tasha, but that would have been like Thomas. And I don't want to do that. Got to just chill out. We tried the Berry Pop collection. I have the liner somewhere. So we have the Natasha Denona Berry Cheek Pop Cheek Trio enjoyed little cute you know valentine's day situation i this is so pretty i'm just always weary about things like this because i feel like my makeup just evaporates throughout the day but it's nice like i really i really like this this is really pretty so i don't know if this is something she's going to continue to do i really did like the lipstick color as well this berry tone Really nice collection. Like I was not mad at Tasha. Lip liner's great. So that inspired me to check on some other Natasha Denona products. I'm mad I forgot another product from Char. It was her finishing powder. Flawless finish. Got a little pan. This is my second one of these. And it got a little pan in that. So that's nice. All right, back to Tasha. So we have the My Dream Cheek Trio. And I left the lip gloss across the room. Realize that this blush is still pretty good, even though it feels dry as a board, but it does still work really well. These two uh, products or pans are fine. I love this. This is in the shade Natasha. Great little mauve color lipstick, but I do have to watch out for that line. And I have the liner and the gloss as well. So that was great. And then I did a look with the My Dream palette, which a great palette. It's not my favorite Natasha Denona palette, but it's a very, very good. I think Natasha Denona, well, Natasha Denona is a priority brand. And that is holding true because I'm looking at everything I have here. I also used the bronze palette in February. Here it is, my baby. <sighs> Great palette, my first Natasha Denona palette, and I used it with the tan and bronze and glow palette to see how this was doing, and just just fine. She's just fine. Creams are intact, smooth, glossy, and the powders are intact. The bronzer and this little highlighter, which looks great. Everything's intact with that, so 
Yeah, I mean, I use a lot. Natasha, like the concealer and the color corrector, please do not talk to me. All right, so that's definitely, I would consider a heavy hitter. Charlotte was a heavy hitter this month. Mm. I know what the heaviest hitter is. We, we about to, y'all about to see and you'll be like, you didn't even mention this brand in your video at all. All right, so Chanel, what did I wear from Chanel? It was the Healthy Glow Blush. This blush, I'm wearing it now. I didn't build it up too, too much, but I love this blush. You know, I'm still struggling because I don't have the coral one, but this is Mauve Glacé. It's beautiful. My snowflake is still there. It's got some pearlescence in there. Really, really beautiful blush. Will look so nice on the eyes. So good. So I know I had a, a lipstick on with that. So just, just know. And then I pull out this and the oversized bronzer. The oversized bronzer in Sun Bath and Sun Kiss, that's medium and deep. I use those all the time. But then this has been sitting for like a year. The Le Beige uh, Cream Bronzer in Soleil Tan Deep. And then when I took this off, I'm like, oh my gosh, cause you know the little swirl is gone. I'm like, this looks disgusting. And then I felt it and I'm like, I don't know. I'm wearing it now. This blush is so good. I've been wearing it all month. Like, mm -mm, don't talk to me. I wish I could like imprint something on there so it looks cute again, but I guess it's just not meant to be. But this is probably one of my favorite bronzers. It's, it's something about how when it blends in for me, cause like sometimes when I look, especially that bathroom lighting at work, the bathroom lighting at work is terrible. And I'm like, why does my makeup look like that? But then when I get out and look in a regular mirror, it's fine. But the blend, like the seamlessness from like right here, and it might just be how I'm blending it in, but the formula of it, cause it's not, it's cream, but I don't know what it is, but it is so good. I love this. That's all I meant to say with that. So that's all I have from Chanel. So let's talk about the heavy hitter. The heavy hitter for the month of January, and I'm actually a little surprised, Dior. Didn't even mention. And Dior, the reason why I didn't, you may have this out. The reason that I don't think I mentioned Dior in my priority brands video, I mean, I might have for the lipstick. You are low key, it's like low key with the Chanel and Dior thing, real low key. And I think that at first when I was doing YouTube, it was like those Dior quints were like the thing, everybody was doing them. And then I'm like, I don't know if that's me, you know, and now I'm getting into a phase of my life where I'm like, oh, I really enjoy these. So I did some Do We Still Love Hers to see. That's the whole point. The lipsticks are in. They're in and they're not going. Especially these. This is Fauve. This was like Juicy Fruits. I'm here for it. I have a blush here. This is, oh, Mahogany. This was, I used this with my, uh, in my Heather Austin video. The one that we did a collab on about a, a brown blush. It's like real brown, like purple brown kind of. No, it's just brown. All these blushes are good. This one's just super, super pigmented for me. And so it's a little tough. You gotta be really, really light handed. But we've got four Dior Quince and one big palette that you probably didn't even know I had. I got it around Christmas time. And I was like, I've always looked at it and been like, I just think this is so cute. So I, around Christmas time, you know, it's like, I buy something for you, buy something for me. I, that's not the right outlook here. Okay, so I'm not advocating that. But I'm telling you that's what I did. And uh, I'm gonna try not to do that. And this is uh, definitely stain prone. This is called the Blooming Boudoir. Yes, y'all, look at this. And I've worn this. I wore this on a Purple Friday for the Ravens and used like these two shades and then one of these in the inner corner. Wait, wait. Ease, very easy. I could put like these on the cheeks if I wanted to, but uh, why? I totally content with this. And like I said, haven't filmed with it, but I'm totally content with this palette. Really happy with it. Even just doing that one look using those purple shades. The blend, just the finish, really nice. I don't know if I told you I'm wearing Lisa Eldridge Myth. I might've said that. And uh, I will have a video up for that. I got this after I used these other four, like, nope, I really like this. Um, okay, this is another blush, actually. This is Galactic Red. So one of my favorite red blushes. 
So if I had to pick, you know, I got my Chanel chains, my hourglass at night and my galactic red for my red. And then we have four quads, quince. So oh, blue velvet. Yes, I wore this to work when I had to wear blue one day. It's like blue pastel fairy. This is, mm, y'all, this is so cute. I know it's gone. I wonder, are, were these velvet ones the newer formula? Because I know they're using cornstarch and a lot of people don't like them, but I like that velvet formula. I also have here Coral Paisley, which is another one. Always get compliments when I wear this every single time. So beautiful. This shade right here, I know it looks like nothing, but it it's so good. I can't. I can't and I can't start to love these again so much because of the price, you know, buy a dare. This is another one I had never used perfect for the summer. These shades just, they blend together. Like I don't want to say like a dream, but they do like you don't have to do any work. And then lastly, jungle jungle i've been on the declutter train with this one so many times and then i wore it the last time and i'm like girl you was about to let this go like people love this one because jungle isn't available anymore unless you find it second hand you can get one that's called khaki but a lot of people don't like khaki because it's the new formula and see dior when they changed their formula over they renamed black bow something else and i'm like this is black bow so stop and then some of the other ones they had the same name but some of the shades were different so like these were like the og ones so i'm really glad that i did not let it go but it's got this little earthy like a safari type theme this is really good y'all so now i'm looking at my priority brands and seeing like huda beauty's creeping in char is creeping in dior's always been there and i'm, I'm just probably acknowledging it to myself tasha has always been my girl Chanel's trying to weasel its way though. I will say that because I do have the new Eclat de Nuit uh, eyeshadow and the Healthy Glow Primer in Light Frost. I think that's what it's called. So yeah, I do have those items and I'm going to be filming with them soon. So I feel like, see, I don't need these luxury brands being the, the heavy hitters, but I also feel like they release a little less, but that's what I have to watch. Like, I don't necessarily feel like I'm buying less and I might be, but the things that I want are a little more expensive. And so I got to just keep everything in perspective. But what I'm happy about the most is that I've used such a, a wide range of products and they're all not new, you know, so I am going through my collection and I like that when I do get something new, it inspires me to pull out what else I have from the brand. So like with Charlotte Tilbury, getting those two lipsticks and lip cheats inspired me to pull out an eyeshadow palette that I had never used. I don't know where Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize is because I would have showed it, but the, that, the powder, the blush, I just might not have been thinking about those things. So I like merging the new with the old and they're all going well together. So that's going to be it for this mimosas and makeup. I'm going to get on out of here because I'm not sure how long this video is, but as always, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one, a special day today. I'm really so happy to be here with y'all and just be here period. Even though I know I do, you know, struggle with some things, you know, in the end, it's all good. And um, I think, you know, being aware of changes and being aware of your feelings and all that, you know, it's just a step to getting you where you need to be and where you want to be. So I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And, you know, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, block your ears.